Welcome to Tracking 200. My name is Jeff Doyle. And whether you're a first time viewer or a long time subscriber, I hope you enjoy this series. Well, I've taken some dice bucks over the years, including a few over 200. This season and this particular video series is about my journey to find, whether it's on dry ground like this or on snow, a buck that weighs over 200 pounds dressed. That's what we consider in the Northeast to be a big buck. And it's late September. As you can see, the leaves are starting to change, falls in the air. And so I'm here to put some trail cameras out. The plan for this video series is that along the way, I'll check in routinely, hopefully every week, let you know what I'm thinking, what I'm doing to adapt and change my strategy to get a buck that weighs over 200 pounds. Hi, I'm Jeff Doyle, and welcome to this episode of Tracking 200. I'm in Massachusetts today, December 31st, last day of the year, last day of the season, with the muzzleloader. And I've got what is possibly the most perfect tracking snow I've seen this year. Each day I've hunted here in Massachusetts so far has been on old snow. I've gotten in close, been able to really kind of learn the snow and judge the age of the tracks and look for those real tiny details that are telling me the difference between a fresh track and an old track, but I don't have to worry about any of that today. And it's a little tricky getting in here. This snow is pretty slippery. Nobody's come into this area yet today from what I can tell. And I've got a fresh track right here on the road, right where I parked. So it is going to be a good day.
10 o'clock and I'm trying to decide whether or not this buck is big enough to continue on today. It's the last day of the season and I know there's other bucks in here. This track's only really about a three finger track. When I get down here, I can see antler marks in the snow. There. I know there's bigger bucks in here. What I might do is go on him for a couple hundred yards, see what he's doing. But my heart's kind of looking for a bigger buck because I know there's big ones in here. I'm on a big track here, but it's a little old. All the tracks up here are old, but this is beautiful hunting down through here.
It's a big wrecked buck. Oh man. Baby. Oh my god. I was up in here a few days ago and I had cut an old track. I marked it on my Onyx maps and as I was out here searching for a track I figured I'd pop up this ridge just to see if there was any fresh tracks and when I got up here there was a fresh trail. So I was just kind of trying to figure things out, poke around there a little bit and I knew I was running low on battery so I I just took the tent pack off and I changed the GoPro battery and when I put the pack back on my back I looked up and I saw a deer's body right up in here so I pulled the gun up I saw it had bones as it took a step and I fired and I'm, I'm confident I hit him the first time but it wasn't until I reloaded and pulled the gun up a second time he was standing here and uh, I got an idea that he was a big wrecked buck I didn't think I didn't know he was this big I don't think he's gonna go 200 pounds, but he might've gone 200 back in the beginning of November. Just a monster, just a monster. Um, what an awesome day. Wow, wow. After sizing this buck up a little bit, I'm uh, pretty sure he's the biggest rack buck I've ever taken. It's just awesome to be able to do it out here in the big woods. The other night I grabbed my grandfather's knife and it's pretty special. I'm going to be able to take care of this buck with his knife. Well, we all know what Larry Benoit used to say, getting him out's the easy part. Some of the hardest funnest work you'll ever do. I want to say thanks to everybody for tuning in to this episode of Tracking 200. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. Give this video the thumbs up. I'll be back again in 2020. I want to wish everybody a happy, healthy, and safe 2020. We'll see you on the trail. <laughs>